Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can use shape dividers in Wix Studio to create seamless transition between sections. Let's go ahead and get started. So here I am in Wix Studio and the first thing we need to do is kind of build two sections. So I'm gonna come over here to the add panel and I'm gonna choose this sections layout. First one I'm gonna choose is a welcome one and I'm gonna drag this over this section right here and you'll see at the top it says replace section. So I'm gonna drop it right there. Then I want to add another section. So we're gonna head on down to services and I'm gonna choose this one right here. And I'm gonna drag this down to the bottom and it will add it below the next section. Perfect. Now I will say that this font choice is not really the style I'm going for. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the text really quick. One font that I've really been liking lately is this one called Onest or Honest without the H. I don't really know how to pronounce it, but I think it just looks really, really cool. I'm also going to adjust the line spacing just a little bit, and we will even bring up the spacing for the buttons a little bit as well. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and apply that to the bottom one here as well. So we'll do honest. For this one, we will do regular. And then for the text in the repeater, let's do honest regular, and then we'll do that here as well. I will say though, for the size, we maybe don't need it to be this big. So maybe we'll do like 48. And then for the repeater one, let's do like 22. And then last but not least for this repeater, let's go ahead and change out the images. For this design, I think we're gonna do something a little techy. So we're gonna choose some nice tech images. Great. Now up here for this top one, this background doesn't look very techy. Um, so we can just delete this background. And I just wanna make a note real quick. For these shape dividers to work, we can't just add an image or video to the background like this and stretch it. The shape dividers won't appear this way because it'll technically be there, it'll just be behind the image. So we don't wanna use this method. What we wanna do is grab the section itself, then we can add media to the background. So let's grab an image or video. For this, I'm actually gonna choose a video and we'll just search up tech and let's just choose this first one at the very top, perfect. I also want to change the background color to maybe like a dark blue and we'll raise the back, lower the background opacity just a little bit. Great. So as you can see right now, there is a sharp line where the video and the next section meet. So maybe we don't want that. So if we grab this top section here, we will have this option in the action bar for shape dividers. If we click this, we will see tons of different options that we can choose from. Now, obviously, since we're going for a tech website, the ones that we currently see may not represent that very well. So we can easily select more shapes right here, and we have a lot more options to choose from. Now, the one I'm gonna be choosing for today's video is this Wave Transparent Blocks. I'm gonna press Choose File. Now, as you can see, it has already applied it to the bottom here. Now, if we go ahead and customize it, we have a few more options that we can change. One, we can change the background color. So if we have a section below that we're trying to transition to, that's a different color, we can of course choose that color. And we can also adjust the height of this. Maybe we want it to be a little bit more extreme. And then we can even adjust the horizontal offset if we wanted to for this as well. And then alternatively, we can flip the design if it's not the correct way around for you. But once we are happy with that, we can easily just preview the website and we can see that this nice shape divider adds a nice transition to the next section. And it was really easy to set up. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's quick little video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I will see you all in the next one.